There is no news channel that Donald Trump hates more than CNN. Well, that may seem like a silly thing to write about a sitting president, indicating he's some kind of toddler when it comes to being criticized or reported on. The fact is that we are in a new reality. In this timeline, the leader of the free world really hates it when you point a camera at him while he's speaking, then play back his exact words for the public without letting him dispute a verbatim account of his own words. But all the way back at the very beginning of his administration, Trump's legendary feud with the fake news media as he calls it began with a retweet of a short video a fan of his made that depicted a wrestling match with the two contestants physically battling it out while Trump's face was superimposed on the stronger opponent, and the CNN logo covered the face of the loser. Not an auspicious start to a meaningful relationship between the president and one of the most respected sources of news in America. Then, famously, Trump tried to shut down perhaps their biggest reporter, Jim Acosta, after the veteran newsman asked questions that Trump didn't like. The White House staff attempted to physically remove the microphone from Acosta's hands at a press conference, then Trump's press secretary Sarah Sanders tweeted a doctored video of the event, saying that Acosta had assaulted the female intern the microphone incident took place with. They tried to ban Acosta and lost that lawsuit in a pretty spectacular fashion. An OW Trump will be facing someone from inside his own administration as a foil at his nemesis network. Sarah Isger, the former spokeswoman for the Department of Justice during the tenure of Jeff Sessions as Attorney General, is joining CNN as a political editor in March, where it will be her job to coordinate political coverage for the 2020 presidential campaign. That's not just bad news for Trump. It's like, I don't know, triple bad news or something. How do you describe it when someone who worked for a guy you hated goes to work for a network you hate and already has experience criticizing you during a presidential campaign? Oh, that's right, Isger worked for the Carly Fiorina campaign in 2016 and had plenty to say about Trump during that election season, Isger may be a Republican strategist, but she's at least grounded in some kind of normal if Trump hates her.